Here we are in Benson, Arizona, about 50 miles southeast of Tucson. 30 years ago, Randy Tufts and Gary Tennant, college roommates at the University of Arizona, were doing what they love to do, explore and look for caves. When they stumbled upon this sinkhole, they had an intuition, so they climbed on down. What they discovered is now known as one of the country's most precious and natural wonders. Now, very few cameras are ever allowed in this cave. So come along with us, because we are gonna take you for a rare look inside Karchner Caverns. Sort of on a lark, we came out when we were college students uh, to check the hole out. Our hobby had been looking for caves. We, we, we explored some of the local caves and, and we together wanted to find a cave. There was a long tunnel, 25 feet, uh, a very t constricted tunnel. At the end of that was what we call the blowhole, which uh, was a, a grapefruit-sized hole blowing air whoosh, coming in. And, uh, we knew that with that kind of volume of air, there must be a big space behind it. Gary Tennant and Randy Tufts had discovered two and a half miles of some absolutely stunning cave formations created over 200,000 years. It was the geologic find of a lifetime, and they couldn't tell a soul. Protecting it was the highest thing on our list. We had seen so many caves in, in Arizona that had been vandalized. People would, would bring trash in, they'd spray paint it, and we've, we've actually caught people mining formations off the cave walls. And we saw this beautiful cave and said, we, we couldn't let this happen to, to this place. And so we, uh, we spent a lot of time thinking about what we could do to protect it. Uh, we really wanted to protect it beyond our lifetimes. We, we knew that that was the obligation that came with the discovery, their, their responsibility of stewardship. This cave has incredible formations, uh, both in terms of diversity of minerals and diversity of forms. As a matter of fact, it's recognized as one of the 10 most mineralogically significant caves in the world. For 24 years, Gary and Randy told only a select few about their wondrous discovery as they tried to figure out how to protect the cave for the future. We researched the landowner, the Karchner family, discovered that uh, uh, they were doctors and uh, teachers and uh, one, their dad, the, the patriarch of the family had been a school superintendent. Got the idea that they could be good stewards of the land and we approached them. And it turned out they were fabulous stewards and together we spent the next few years mapping the cave and looking for the final steward who could turn it into a, a, a tour cave uh, as a means of protection. We found Arizona State Parks. The state of Arizona eventually bought the land owned by the Karchner family and the cave underneath it. But it wasn't until 10 years later that it was finally open to the public. In trying to protect the cave, one of the most important things we're trying to protect is the environment in the cave, the high humidity environment. We're here in a desert with very low humidity, so we're trying to protect the inside air from the outside air. So we have to have some way to keep them from mixing. So we have a whole set of airlocks with big freezer-like doors that people pass through. They only let a certain number of people on the tour at a time, with a guide in front of them and also in back of them. We've advanced the appreciation for caves with the thousands of people who've come through here every year, come, leave here much more appreciative of the world around them, and much more inspired to protect not just caves but other natural resources. And that's really an accomplishment that Randy and I are, are, are very proud of.